Hello YouTube fans, Tim Cooper, Cooper's Automotive Repair, and uh, I'm going to walk through another vehicle repair. This customer on this 2007 Dodge 1500 Ram pickup, he replaced his front struts. This is a four-wheel drive vehicle. In that process, something happened on the outer CV boot. So I'll show you the process of how we replaced this outer CV boot, and we'll come right over here. Okay, first off, uh, Dave, take a picture of the grease all over where the CV axle boot is on the front. You can see that grease slinging everywhere right here. And this boot right here is what's torn. That's what we're going to be digging down to replace. Uh, obviously, you got to pull the tire off. I'm not going to show that. You guys know how to pull the tire off. At least I hope so. But to access room, two things we're going to do here. Um, We'll take this brake caliper off just to get more room. So that's the first thing. We bolt the top, the bottom of that. The top and bottom went backwards on that, but here's the bolts for that. Off the side. You might have to push the piston back a little bit to get the caliper off of there. And we'll do that. We just need a little bit of pressure there. A little screwdriver to separate this and get it kind of jammed in there. Yeah, let's feel that piston move in a little bit. Look at that. Not quite there. Okay, that's out of the way. Thing up there so it doesn't hang around, find a spot for it. There we go, kind of hold it up a little bit. Don't really want it hanging on that brake hose there. But you can see the grease all over the caliper that we just took off. These are the brake pads, we'll leave those in place. The um, next bolt we'll take out is actually the CB axle bolt right here. video when I did the inner uh, tie rod on that town and country. These are aluminum. You really don't want to hammer on these. You can a little bit. I don't like to because it distorts them so much. But the tool to uh, get this tie rod out of here. Possibly if it's long enough. Alright, the tool's not going to be long enough, so we are going to have to hit it. <clears throat> yeah, this is going to work out. I'll break that tie rod out of there. Yeah, it feels good. It's a good one. Sometimes get stuck in this blind, you see the axle coming through there. 
but uh, I'll show you how I take those off. I might get a little roll pin punch. I got a big roll pin punch with me. Like that. Make a bunch of different sides. Keep from damaging the threads on the end of it. That's moving really good, so leave that there. Nice thing about this truck is this strut right here has the spring here and bolted here down the lower control arm. So you don't have to worry about getting hurt on this one. Now if it went from upper control arm to the lower control arm, you'd have to support this so that this thing didn't come flying out of here and hurt you. I'm going to take this bottom nut off of the ball joint right here. So the hammer method was not working. Uh, a two-jaw puller. This one happens to be made by Snap-on. And uh, <laughs> throw that on there, top and bottom of it. Yeah, get it tight. Now, uh, again, you can use an impact on this one. This one actually broke loose for me a little bit ago. And once you get that ball joint loose, take your tool back off. Assembly. Well, this one goes down. Okay. So we got to bust the top one off next, right here, this upper ball joint to the knuckle. So we're going to remove this whole steering knuckle. Okay, so we went back caveman on this thing with a hammer. Too tight to get the two jaw puller and the nut loose. I left it there a little bit to just hold the weight of everything. And right there, not, that one not very hard, it popped right out of there. So, you do what you have to sometimes. It never works.
drop will spin and you can't, you can't get your nut loose. Okay, sometimes the, the stud of the ball joint will spin. They make a little wrench area on the bottom of this. Thing. Kind of twist that out of there. This is 10 millimeter. It's a 21 on the top. We got this apart. We'll remove this whole spindle out of here. Okay. The whole spindle's out of the way. This is what we were trying to get to through all that. We're going to place this outer loop. We're hoping that I don't have to pull the whole CV shaft, but I might. So it's got these continuous, well, these aren't continuous tension clamps, but it's got squeeze clamps here. You got to cut these off. Everything works well. A good pair of cutter pliers can work. Take out. We can't get them quite in there. Cutter pliers couldn't get a hold of it. Normally these are crimped up top. There is no area to cut these. So a cutoff wheel can cut that band clamp off of there. Separate it. That's what we were trying to get out of it. <coughs> nice. The inner one inside. And on each side. Driver. All right, we got that. I'm going to slide this boot back. Most of the time, we don't replace just the boot. We'll change the whole axle. Put back. And I jumped ahead a little bit. I went ahead and cut that boot that you saw on here off. Just slice it so I could access room. Once you do that, this locks on here with this little clip right here. You just take some snack room parts, you spread that open, and you slide it off of this shaft, okay? Then after you do that, we have to wash all this out and pack new grease in here. Okay, typical busy day today. We've been back and forth on this car, I'm trying to work through it. Uh, last picture was showing the outer CV axle joint. We've cleaned it. All right, we're gonna repack this with grease, okay? We've got a, a Napa boot kit here. Yeah. Comes with the grease. Which, what I did is I just take one corner of it out right here. Some kind of corner of that grease package right there, okay? Then, the corner you cut out, just put it in the middle of the fitting and just squeeze all that grease up through there. And 
to see it. See it kind of push through everything. Alright. After you do that, you spread it around. On there. Okay, so it'll look like this. And then set that back aside. These are our new clips that we'll use. And we'll crimp on them. There's a special tool for crimping these down. It's like this. Goes across that and squeezes it together after we put this boot on. So, you can slide your clamp up like that. Go ahead and slide your boot on up in there. These are adjustable too. Disconnect them. You can, can open them up. So it's, it's different sizes. So this one we're gonna have to put on there right now. I'm gonna set this aside. All right. Line the hole up. You got a, that lock clip in here. You don't have to use any tool on it. You're just gonna push this on until that clip locks in. See it's locked in place. Slide the boot. Slide the boot around there. This clamp is also adjustable. I have to. I have to open that one up a little bit so I can actually tighten it up a little bit. Pretty good. Screwdriver when you need it. There we go. Got it loose. Slide it on. Tighter. There we go. So it looks like that. Adjusted it in. Now we grab the other clamp. The outer one. Adjust that up. That. Then we take that tool I was talking about, this one, and you grab across that and you just squeeze it like you would a pair of pliers. It's going to look like that. Do the same thing on your inner clamp. to the CD app. And after we've done that, we've got to put that big knuckle back in. Oh. This one. Start it back through the center of the hub a little bit. Bottom nut on. 
trying to hold it before I... And the bottom ball joint right here. Oh, he's got the right nut. Start it so it doesn't fall on you. Okay, we've got that bottom nut stop started on the bottom ball joint just to hold it in place. We gotta work the CV axle up through here into the spline of the hub. Let's kind of start it. Just, just start your nuts at this point, don't tighten anything. Like that. Put the top ball joint into the knuckle. You have to pry down on this. They were 22 millimeter metric. Top ball joint nuts in, bottom ball joint nuts tight. This one you're going to leave loose. This has to be torqued to 140 foot pounds. We'll get to that. Put your tie rod back in.
caliper itself back into the caliper bracket. Okay, those are 13 millimeter. There we are. Okay, so we'll take that right here. most of the way with the impact and not tighten it all the way down. Okay. Fork wrench set up to 140 foot pounds. Try a pry bar in between these like this. And most of the time I'd put it on the ground. So you have the ground on the pry bar, but we'll see if I can do it this way. Okay, so the torque wrench clicks. Get 140 foot pounds on that. Okay, so then obviously you know we'll go over everything, make sure. That you did everything's tight. And it's on the last thing left is just to put the tire back on. So that is a CV boot replacement on the 2007 Dodge 1500 Ram four wheel drive. Thanks for watching.